Welcome to the Invasion Session 9. I'm Ryan, the GM. It's the 10th of June 2020, and here are the Butt Cleavage players. Hi, I'm Butt Cleavage, and I'm going to be playing Butt Cleavage. Uh, no. Hi, I'm Gregor. <laughs> I'm playing Adair, who's a bit of a rogue. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Alvin, a uh, gnome Butt Cleavage, who is specifying an artificery. Hi, I'm Cognac. No, I'm, I'm Cal, who's playing Cognac, <laughs> who has his mind on butt cleavage, so can't think properly. Good evening, my name is Alexander, and tonight I will be playing Fleabites David, who's going to be very confused about all the butt cleavage. Hello, I am Ewan, and I'll be playing Laida, who last week did a bit of horsing around, but this week will be f solely focused on butt cleavage. Hiya, I'm Callum B, and I'll be playing Thea to Or, the... I was going to say Cassathan again, I'm not. You were, you're not even a Cassathan in any game? <laughs> <laughs> the Kalishtar butt cleavage um, chaos woman mage priest death. Wow. <laughs> we're only nine in, guys. We're only nine in. Um, and this is how much we've just given up. Um, okay, who remembers what happened last time? I fucked up a bob. I went in and used thunderclap on everyone and blew all your shit away. Oh, oh. yeah, and I think it's pissed off at you. I forgot about that. You were spent a nice, night. peaceful time in a bar. Getting and started. I came in and burned it. Yeah, peaceful. <gasps> well, I would have spent my money, and then I had to spend more money so that Thea could show her butt cleavage to that barman who likes her. Oh yeah, that's right. Talk about complete butt cleavage on that one. Mm. I remember something about a horse's butt sticking out of a door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The prophecy was foretold. told. <laughs> 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 it's it's like this is planned. Has anyone ever told you, Callum, that you laugh like Alan Carr? No, no, crazy. not Alan Carr. The guy um, from Jimmy Carr. Yeah, it's, um, Jimmy <laughs> Carr. <laughs> 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 That's glorious. Normally, I'm the one getting called the uh, the Jimmy Carr laugh. To be honest, but yeah, I'm glad it was going to Callum. No. Oh, no. It is your curse now. <laughs> so happens. <sighs> well, it did happen. So here we are. Uh, anything else happened last time? Somebody read a book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, oh, the book was cool. That whole read. scene was really cool. Um, the, the the weird giant book land. Mm. I'm curious about the oh, book yeah. land. Go and listen to the previous session and come back to this one. <laughs> I was like, who wrote that book again? Because that came up, didn't it? The Book of Von Rune. Yeah, by Von Rune. Von Rune, star in Von Rune. Von Rune and Von Rune. Directed yeah. by Von Rune. Musical met... score by Von Rune. Mm -hmm. And we met Mummy Von Rune. Who might be a dragon. Cynthia. Who I imagine has amazing butt cleavage. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> can't stay right we'll that her. I mean, you can't be the queen and not have a butt cleavage. True. I just like, it's on all the stamps. <laughs> just, it's just the butt cleavage. <laughs> on the back of the coin. <laughs> there, so we get 100 XP for every time we mention butt cleavage, right? Uh, you'll lose 100 <laughs> XP for every time you mention it, yeah. So I've kept I've actually made a so goal for my character. <laughs> have someone comment on Cognac's butt cleavage, yeah. Well, I said I'd impress the, the king at the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Is there, is there Allow me show, to bro? show you the gratification of my people by showing you my ass. <laughs> to Just anyone who has made it this far, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. We're only four minutes in, guys. This is what this has done to us. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's enough for today, guys. See you later. I'm out. Bye. Oh, oh, yeah, we've peaked. <laughs> <laughs> right, that just one me one. It's so hypnotic. I can't I stop. Know. I, it's right there. I think also because you can feel the satisfaction right by looking at it. I think that also helps. I think we've all had that feeling. Mm. Mm. Anyway, so anything else happen? You just want to mention? 
there was the woman who Alvin thought was a dragon lady, but she says she swears she's not a dragon lady. Which is suspiciously something dead? like a dragon lady would say. Yes. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about Also, he, only he saw um, um, her, even. Like when he was all waiting. The first time, Alvin right? saw this yeah. the first time around, yeah. Saw this, this, yeah, yeah, this, but this you've, lady all, you've, all, you've all seen her now. I haven't. I'm too busy getting my butt cleavage. Yeah. Are you? Oh yeah, so you are. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot about that. You remember the party just did like to stay split now. That's how it works in the game. Yeah. Did I like blank out when the first mention of the dragon lady was? Because I, I I don't remember the mention of the dragon part. Originally. It was me. I I, I, I think that's just all Alvin. Yeah. yeah, it's all me. I just assumed she was Alvin saw it and enough. then implied that that was exactly what was happening, even though it was never mentioned that it was happening. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Sounds like Alvin. <laughs> I like that someday. Oh, it 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 Sorry, I like that someday added in. Oh God. Hogman, stop it. Thank you. No. I'm sorry. It's such an awful audio. Anyway, as I was going to say, I like that somebody added into Jezebel's uh, NPC thing, book burner. No question mark, <laughs> just, just book burner. That was me. There's a question mark at King of Runestead for Richter, but not for her being a book burner. I think this <laughs> is in the same vein as Alvin's convinced this is a dragon lady. You know. Wait, where does it say this? I see on the the game manager. Oh, in the game manager. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, when did she burn a book? Exactly. We just know it to be true. Uh, see it in her eyes. I mean, there's only one book left, so <laughs> where'd the rest of them go? Mm -hmm. She burps comically. Um, right, goals. Let's move on to goals. Adair, what's happening in Goldland? Um, no, I'm still good trying to acquire a map for directions uh, to Bar Baris. Yep, Alvin. Um, yeah, so goal wise, I cannot think of one right now. I yeah, want. Do you, you were supposed to spend a week thinking of one. Yeah, I know, but now all I can think about is butt cleavage. Um, I'm thinking uh, basically be like. <sighs> find out more about uh, the Queen because obviously I'm like you're meant to be dead now you're not dead um, find out why the Queen is not dead or is she dun 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 mm. so do you want it to be find out why the Queen is not dead okay fine find out why give me a minute Give me a minute. Find out why, why Cynthia Von Rune is not dead. Sure. There you go. And like dead in like quotation marks. Mm -hmm. Is it my goal? Oh, I know. I know better. Um... <laughs> no. No. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, go. Please, sir, can I have a turn? So what about find out why Cynthia Von Ruin is alive? Find out, no, so not find out how. You don't know that she is. She could be an apparition. I guess that's the yeah, finding it, out it, part. Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> find out what's the dealio with Cynthia, Cynthia Von Ruin. Mm -hmm. uh, is that, that an adequate goal or is that. Drop it a line down, it might be, yeah. What's the top one for then? For when you want to make blank new lines, because remember uh, originally it was going to have loads of goals in there, and then we didn't do that. Yeah. Because I'm waiting until you guys hit next level to see how much I like adding more goals in. Yeah. There's a progress gauge happening. So yeah, I'm going to top of that just now then, while we're in the middle of this. Um, yeah, like as for XP wise, I when you level up again, I'm going to gauge how long it took you guys to get a level up, and then I'm going to look at what was the combat contribution and what was the goal contribution. I'm going to see what I like to see if you should have more than one active goal at a time per person. Because um, okay. yeah, I don't necessarily want levelling up to take forever, but at the same time I don't want you to get lost in the options of goals instead of actually focusing on goals, you know, yeah. and getting them um, you know, burnt through. 
Are our goals going to give more experience as we level up? Yeah, because it will be your level times 100 all the time. So. Okay. Which means but the uh, requirements will go. Hmm. Well, something just has to qualify as a goal, right? Um, no, I mean like the XP requirement for leveling up will yeah. continually increase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all in the Sion Discord, the five year olds chat. The actual chart for that's right at the top of that, I think. As long as it scales. Um, yeah, like right Where's at the top. The, of that. I don't see a banana. No. What? No. So, you 5 year rules chat in Discord at the very top under MISC text channels, 5 year rules, mm. and a character advancement table. So, at the moment, you're level 3. You need 2700 to get to level 4, and you need 6500 to get to level 5, 14,000 to get to level 6. 23,000 to 7, blah 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 blah, right? So you do, your XP does jump. Obviously use, your XP is cumulative, so it isn't 2,700 to get to 4 and then another 6,500. It is just the difference between the two that you need to gain. So, there you have it. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're so close to level four. Indeed. I yeah, like I, I like I like ah. level ups. And then each goal would then be giving you four hundred XP every time you complete it, instead of three hundred. So the XP does <clears throat> Oh yeah, that's right, because XP and level do the thing together. Yeah. So that you get more XP per goal uh, as you level up, because that should help bridge the gaps between And obviously keep in mind the more you use um complete goals. Like if everybody somehow completed a goal every session, right? That's a lot of XP you could rake in. Mm -hmm. It's a big ask, because I mean, that is a big ask. But at the same time, right? There's nothing to say that couldn't happen. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a fuck ton of XP, in fact. Um, so yeah, uh, right. What is your final wording on this, Alvin? <coughs> uh, yeah, that is my final wording. Find out Find how Cynthia Von Ruin is alive. is alive. Okay, so you're not going to be pissed off when you realise that you know she's not alive and you don't get anything for the goal, yeah? That's what I was trying to get at. Um, I, just, I just want you to be fully aware of right, what you're okay. putting in as your goal. Um, I'm not saying it's a badly worded goal, because what if she is alive, right? Mm -hmm. But then again, what if she's not? I realised that I was absent-mindedly playing some kind of lights out variant with uh, Alexander there in the spreadsheet. Give me, give me a second. Um, <laughs> the, uh, like my Cynthia. hand was kind of doing it. Like before, mm -hmm. I realised what else was happening there, and I was like looking at the Discord page and not even looking at the uh, spreadsheet. And I was like, "Wait, what am I actually doing?" And then I looked over and the orange lights dancing around. Oh, I know. Yes. What do you know? Huh. Alvin, I like that GIF. <laughs> oh, oh crap! God. No. Just leave. I yeah. do, I, I Do you get I it? Do you get it? I deleted 1. the name. I deleted the name underneath. There we go. Find out how Cynthia Von Ruin has returned. Yes. I mean, again though, what if she hasn't? What like what if she had never left? You no, know, like you said, find out how Cynthia Von Ruin has returned, right? That goal, as a statement, assumes she has returned, and you want to figure out how she did this. It's like saying, find out how you stole all of the five pound notes, but then nobody knows that you have stole five pound notes, or even that you, like, like even if you haven't, right? So if somebody sets that as their goal, and you haven't stole five pound notes, that goal will mm. never be completed. Does that make mm, sense? Right. Um, like you've what about made, you've, the sorry, truth of sorry, that. you've made it contingent on another thing that you have made an assumption on. Mm. You may as well guys, make, move uh, the goal you're... earlier in that chain of thought. Yeah. Guys, anyone got a better way of working? Find out that? the truth on the appearance of Cynthia Von Roon. Mm. Because that just says that. An image of her has appeared before you and claims to be her. If you find out the truth about it, then... This is when somebody it... else wrote the book of Von Ruin. And it was you know, <laughs> her son that wrote it. Can you see what I mean by the chain of assumption here? Mm. Yep. 
So okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave it as find out how Cindy Von Ren is alive. Yeah, cool. You know, I'm just gonna leave it at that because then I, I have a clear indication of what I need to find out. Um, and if I fail it, so be it. What about your gone. earlier one, right? Because that's completely fine to leave it as that. But what about your earlier one? Is it learn more about Cynthia Von Rune? Yeah, just find out about the Von Runes. Right, what's wrong with that? Like, that was really simple, right? Because your subject matter mm -hmm. is Cynthia Von Rune, right? Your focus is there. Why not learn more about her? Learn more about all, Cynthia. All, there's all the stuff in the book that you learned, right? What do you, you know, because you know you're going to have, like, dinner with the king at some point, right? So mm -hmm. why not try and have that? be a focal point, right? What about mm. Antonia Starling and the, the portals and what you know Richter is up to or has been up to in the past and did they work together and mm. all that jazz? There are loads you could do. I have to think about that just now, right? And we'll move, we'll come back to you at the end. Yep. Talk back. <clears throat> I am okay with the current goal, though I don't know that I'll manage to fulfill it. But I did think um that we might end up in an altercation with the robots again, including more people than just Laiuda this time, based on what's currently going on with the argument at the gate. Um, and I would like to leave Runestad without getting into a, an altercation. So I'd like to leave Runestad without getting into an altercation with the guards as a group. Okay, so does that mean that to complete that goal you're going to actively try and make sure altercations do not happen by de-escalating any potential altercations? If I am there and there is or a Or are you just going to literally that... leave the party and walk away? Because do you see other no, two avenues there? Then... then I'll use the word de-escalate. Try to de-escalate any potential... Um confrontations the with the guards in Runestead. Okay. So, what if somebody then, say like the king gets pissed off and then shouts for the guards, does that still count as the guards' altercation or is that the king's altercation? Right? Both. So, like, being vague in certain areas is probably your, like, a benefit. I think, yeah, like, try and leave Runestead without any further, um, I guess, altercations is maybe the better mm. kind of wording. Um, and By altercation, I mean like something which will lead to physical conflict. Well, word it is like, you you word it and we'll come back to you as well, right? Fleabite, are we sticking with the old faithful? <laughs> um... And change your push to talk settings. <laughs> okay, basically, my um, idea was. To... You're very quiet, by the way. Very quiet. Um, better? Yes. Um, my idea was to try and go on another journey, um, as it were, um, relating to what happened last time when I um, snorted the stuff and. Okay, yeah, so like recreate the um, like event. Just, just try and yeah. do that again somehow. Mm -hmm. Is that sort of thing acceptable? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> do you think it's more likely to happen this session? I mean, I can't answer that, sadly. Um... Whatever you will choose will be the wrong choice. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's the way it works. Why is it so ugly? <laughs> what have you done? It's a, it's an Alex thing. It is so bad. There's like oh, it's just, just you're weird. ugly when you lie, Dib. Hey, I'll come back to Fleabite to confirm that once the wording's all loud. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. I'm okay with what I have there. 
which is tell the audience repair relationship with the uh, um i think we made some good progress on it yeah. last week yep and i want to it. continue that good you may not see her this time it is true but i think it's more likely for me to see thea than it is for me to do any of my other ones that i have stacked up cool. and i will say that that means that are you actively not going to like work on the other goals because keep in mind they're technically not goals unless they're slotted right so even though you have got currently not relevant goals if like this week Adair get, like, got a crossbow he doesn't get mm. to complete the fact that that was in his not slotted pile does that make sense to everybody? They're not, it's not a quest log they are just yeah, ideas yeah. towards things you could want So yeah, cool. I'm just judging by the fact that we are still in the city and haven't even gone to dinner yet as the fact that mm -hmm. I don't think Laid is going to get adequate um, connection with nature whilst in Runestad to uh, to work on his druidic focus. I love that you say this as currently you're a horse as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I forgot good. all about that. Uh. Ridden by a rat. Yep. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. And Thea? Acquire reasonable transport to Baros. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. I, I feel like that's fine. Cool. Horses. Alvin? Horses, that's what I was thinking. Alvin, you're happy with a learn more about Cynthia Von Ryn? Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Because um, it's really, that is the core of what you were trying to do with the rest of the goal ideas you were having, right? Mm-hmm. Because um, mm -hmm. I'm wondering if the reason Thingy was looking into portals is to maybe even try and bring his mum back. I shrugged, by the way. I know you can't see that, but I did. <laughs> it was a very slow shrug. Like, you never do. You never know. It was know. a slow shrug. You never slow do know. Important. And that's why picking goals is a fucking cunt. Yeah, but, like, I mean, I am here to help. And so is the entire group of us, right? It doesn't need to be a solitary journey. Thanks, goals. guys. Um, I appreciate your support. You're welcome. Uh, hey. Cognac. <laughs> How's your essay coming? You could do with an allergy test and words. Leave Runestad without the group. To my knowledge, causing a physical confrontation with the king's forces. Okay. I'm gonna fix that. That could be tough. Yeah, like you're still I've just got this parts. image of a cognac being like we'll What the hell happened to you anything. guys? No no no, don't tell me. Don't tell me anything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> See, the thing is, I would say that would be metagaming then, right? Mm. Because you're totally, like, your character doesn't see the goal sheet. So, keep that in mind. Cognac. Um, I also feel like we are not going to leave Runestad this session, but we will make it most likely to the dinner this session. That's okay. if the dinner happens because he's been murdered by his mom. Yeah. Then but that's the, that's the thing we that's the risk we take mm -hmm, mm -hmm. every risk you take <laughs> uh, well, are you happy with your goal or do you want to reword it again or do you want to slot that into not relevant just now like I want to slot it into not relevant just now and take it on next week and then keep the current one okay um, so well, like, do you want to move leave room I don't want to do that just grab and pull copy and paste is probably easier you can drag, if you click on the number on the left hand side, you can drag the number down. The problem with that though is, doesn't that take the whole row? It does, but there's nothing to the right of it. But there are for other people, so it's a bad precedent to set. Yeah, for other people. Yeah, so it's a bad precedent to set. Copy and paste is the way I would suggest you do it, and also copy and paste the top line back over that bottom line. Ah, spreadsheets. Yeah. They are so much fun. Oh yeah. Good when they work. But yeah. <laughs> Old Faithful. Yeah. Okay. Cannot wait to see how that goal looks, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Uh, right. Uh, 
yeah, anybody else get anything they want to add about goals before we move on? Because I'm, I'm happy as is. Yeah. All good, dude. No, all good. Excellent. Okay, let's uh, let's get started then, shall we? Yeah. You mean actually play the D and D? I know it's amazing, right? Uh, so, I oh, updated the world map. Oops, sorry. Which will be updated with the more things I can think to add to the world. Um, new places. Oh, I need to zoom out. There Crust. There's new stuff. Yeah. Dragon's eye. Where is this? Oh, right, yeah. Opal. Fruits. That's delish. <laughs> opal fruits. Sorry, that got me. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious opal fruits. I always feel like they tasted better as opal fruits than a starburst. Um, probably I, I'm possibly too young to remember. I am too young, I don't get a joke. Opal I fruits were Starburst. You guys so much. Mm -hmm. They used to be called Opal Fruits and then they got renamed Starburst. Fucking casuals. <laughs> <laughs> Old man! <laughs> yeah. And by golly, I'm proud of it. Damn kids and their DVD players and their oh, illegitimate births and whatever else. <laughs> 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 But yeah, so this is the um, updated world map. New locations such as Aztalush, which is way up in the corner. Um, what did you call me? I called you an Aztalush. <laughs> okay. Uh, technically, it is where Cognat's parents come from. That's oh. where the UNT live. <laughs> and then we've got Crust and Opal. Well, and crust. the dragon's eye. So, this all started, right, I'll give you some info, right? Crust's a dwarven place. It's the dwarven capital. And mm -hmm. the dwarven nobility live in upper crust. And that is why the entire <laughs> world map was updated. And it's the lower <laughs> crust. And that's where all the working class live. Um, and lower crust. <laughs> and that's it. That is literally why I then added Opal and the dragon's eye and Atalush onto the map. Uh -huh. Because I was like, I'm not just going to add in crust as one place for that one joke. Um, so here we have it. The world map has more places in it because of a joke. Nice. Yeah. So next week we're going to see butt crack, Phil. I know. The, the cleft no, of but, 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 the valley but, 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 of butt ox. <laughs> butte clavage. The butte of the ox. <laughs> butte clavage. Oh dear. Anyway, um, so yes, the cat was uh, fairly filling out, as it were. Um, <laughs> cleavage and all. Um, but, speaking of Rinstead, remember the beautiful art? What the? Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's actually a really, like, like, that is a horse. Like, when you look at it, it's like, oh, I know, that's a horse. Cleavage. Very well done. It's just ridiculous. Um, You're right, I'm about 5k XP so far. <laughs> yeah, remember it's a uh, usual Mida XP though, so yeah, it's a price mm. for saying it's like a swear jar. Um, God, imagine that actually a swear jar, but you had to pay an XP. God, that's horrible. Ooh. I'm kind of like if you did that, Scotty would be the most in trouble. Yeah, because because you'd have to keep making <laughs> characters to give them to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scotty and his what? 400 what? characters. Well, yeah. once you reach like 0 HP, that's you dead. No, not health you give me, it's your XP. So, like, you end up yeah, having no, to give me your starting I mean. characters. Um, just to pay off the debt that mm. excuse me, using crew. But anyway, so we're talking shit. Um, let's be imaginative about it. Uh, so, we fade in on Thea. <laughs> And Haranen, as you just walk side by side. Holding hands? I don't know. No. <laughs> no. Touching butts? <laughs> <laughs> That's how people walk. Like some kind of weird back to back crab thing. <laughs> crab people. <laughs> it was a new, um, a new policy put in to stop the spread of uh, viral infections. <laughs> You don't touch hands anymore. It's so bad. Anyway, 
Um, oh dear. But yes, so less focus on the chat, more focus in the game. Because that's a terrifying image. <laughs> that's awful. I'm, I'm moving to a different. I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's terrifying. Text thing that nobody can post. In. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, but yes, so Thea, we are walking yes. with Horanin, and he has kind of went awkwardly silent as you have walked a bit, because um, mm -hmm. he, he mostly mentioned, you know, well, we're we're gonna go um, o over here. On the other side of the, the trees for to, to feed the horses, um, okay, and awkwardly then like walked that way after helping you over the fence. Yep, uh, and she just went, mm. okay, and just walked. Yeah, it's like using there is no awkward silence in her head because uh -huh. there there is there is a clear goal, mm -hmm. and the what's what what the plan is has been stated. So I feel like we're just going to execute that plan. And yeah. uh, he's uh, he's get to like the tree line after like maybe twenty minutes walk I through the fields, and you get over to the tree line, and he starts kind of saying it's like, um, try and try and stick to the uh, the path I take. I uh, you'll get you'll get through it quicker. Um, this is like are there traps? Um, so some hunters put traps down. Yeah. Um, but th this isn't really. There's not that much wildlife in this particular part of the uh, the forest because it's, it's uh, lots of people come here for the the trees. Um, but yeah, it's it's just really. And he kind of taps the ground, and you can you look down. And it's like you know that ground that's just con like a network of roots, so it's all super oh, yeah, uneven. Yeah. Like it's more just. What what's your step? Um, as, ah, okay. as we go, there there is a there's a clearing, uh, and he's sort of scratching the back of his head, and he points like through the trees. He's like there's, there's a clearing uh, that way, but this is a shortcut, and he just like smiles bashfully at you, and heads through. But she just keeps walking. Just says nothing to the guy. Just walks. No, no, she just yeah. She just keeps carries on. I think I, I think she. Um, Are you wearing a mask? She watches oh. her step. I don't think she. Uh, uh, hold on, let me tell you. Intrigued mask. Mm. So she looks I think, intrigued. I think the real, well, her mask looks intrigued. I think the real question is how much of your bark cleavage is on show. I don't think MD asked that, but yeah. <laughs> um, no less than usual. Best answer. Yep. So yeah, you just head through uh, the clearing a bit. Again, sun's pretty bright, you know. At least one of them is anyway. And um, you get there. Yep, I know it's a binary star system. We 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 destroyed this world already. Um, and uh, you start to go through the woods a bit, and you end up like you can hear like running water and things. Um, and you head up to some some stables that are like kind of fairly you know out of the way. You can see that there's, there's like a road that leads out from like the background of the stables I, and clearly that would be like a longer route to get to here, right? Uh -huh. But it's like a definitely, like a more tilled route as it were, in the sense that mm -hmm. tilled's probably the wrong word, but like a more travelled route, flattened, safer you know, trodden route. Is it tilled there? No. <laughs> Tilled. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so you get there, and he's like, uh, would, would you like to meet the horses? Yes. Yes. Let's meet the horses. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want to, do you want to feed them? What do they eat? And he's like, oh, just, you know, like a mix of things. Um, mostly okay. guess, and then like he picks up like a big sack that's kind of like piled up. Um, on like a cart, you know, he does his. Um, we have that diet coke moment where he like swings it over his shoulder and <laughs> sets it down. The sun hits off the bead of sweat on his forehead, and then uh, he opens. Is up. there like more than one of these sacks? Sorry, there was two people. people. Alexander, give us your sass first. Is the logo really prominent on the sack? <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, product placement indeed. Um, and Thea. Is there more than one sack? Yeah. Yeah, can I grab a sack, please? Sure, yeah. Are you wanting yep. to do the exact same, like Diet Coke advert moment? Or no, no. You... She's just going to, like, maybe, like, just hold it on one hand and just kind of let the bottom of it drag on the ground. So you need to, like, heave it off the back of a cart first. Yeah, yeah. So do you want to give me an athletics check? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oof. They got some muscles. Moose glaze, moose glaze. So yeah, like you get it off the back, no problem. And again, he probably turns around and you feel something happening. He's like, oh, okay. Um, and he like picks it up and he starts like walking over to the, uh, like where the horses are stabled. And he just kind of assumes you're going to pick up yours and take it with you as well. Yeah, I head over and I, I just kind of, is it is it kind of like one of those, like sort of outdoory stables where there's like a little half thing and there's a horse in each dookity bit? Or, oh yeah, there's um yeah like just multiple little kind of horse houses right, um, all connected, uh, all kind of fancy kind of wood esque. Um, let me I'll get you like a a really generic picture, right? Uh, yeah, that's that's kind like, of ex- only like made of wood, right? Well, yeah, I was gonna say like a wood version of that. That's yeah. basically what I was thinking, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And there is, there's maybe about, I don't know, 30 or 40 of them, right? There's loads. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, like, there's loads. Um, okay, I think of that. Um, are they, like, all open, or is he opening them up as he's... Yeah, so he's opening them up. Um, Sorry, but can I just say that those are some fancy uh, stables? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is more fancy to my house but yeah um. just gonna get rid of that so people feel less inadequate there we go thank you <laughs> so yeah um so has he opened a bunch or is he opening one and then feeding it and then so he opens like the like the top half of the doors and as he does there is a like part of the the lower door itself the top of that is like a trough and that's where he's pouring okay yeah, yeah. the feed into all right, fancy. Yeah, Brunstead. <laughs> and he uh, just he just yeah. goes about his business. And he's like, uh, if if you like, you could start over there. And he like points to like the other row. So it's like a big L shape. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So she, I think she walks over to like what well, I guess one of the the rooms and rooms, one of the the doors at, mm. at that, and um, lifts up the bag and. I want to see if the horse will just eat out the bag first. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Just, like, yeah. Yeah, 100% okay. just, like, looks at you, you open the bag and hold it up enough for it to, like, just, and it just plows its face right into the bag. Cool. Yeah. Just leave it at that, yeah. <laughs> you have um, to just letting it feed. Let, letting it feed on that, and, and um, I think, does, does it have, like, a nameplate or anything or do I need to ask him oh 100% think? they all have nameplates okay yeah do you speak Valerian um, <laughs> I'm kidding it's a <laughs> sure <laughs> yes I do uh, I do not uh, right okay so this one that you're at right so I hope someone's got the NPC list handy that isn't me or Callum in the scene um, one two three not it nope you're volunteered <laughs> there you go right so this now one, when you say NPC list do you mean the NPC doesn't matter list either the... one Right, so this horse is called Beaver. There you go. Beaver. Beaver. I think I'm. Um, oh, I don't know how strong she. I think she's like, kind of, maybe after he's kind of eaten a bit, or she's eaten a bit. I don't know. If Beaver's a boy or girl. It I ain't say. checking. <laughs> um, we'll pour like like feed into the trough, mm-hmm. and then. Like kind of just pat it on the head. Yeah, and it gave me some animal handling, but with some advantage yeah. because you fed it. <laughs> Score. I would have used my. Uh... Well, no, like, you get advantage for feeding it. Like that's, you know, you <laughs> made the situation right better. No, oh, my God, geez. it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! 
Okay. Right. So I think what happened there Let's was you went him. up, slapped the horse, and to make it feel better, you slapped it again. No. So you leaned in real close when it was eaten. You're like, got any butt cleavage? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, none of that happened. Um, no, Please so, tell me what happened. Something about you spooks the horse, right? Beaver doesn't like you for some reason. We don't know why, That's fair. Um, but there's something off about you that really unnerves it to the point where like, it like rears up and does try and like, it kicks into like the door, like spilling like feet over you. Um, as the door is like starting to buckle, do you like step back? I guess. But I think she'd jump back a little bit, um, for sure. Maybe taking a, like, maybe jump back into sort of like a ready stance, mm -hmm. ready to either jump out the way if the horse breaks out or, um, stab it. Yeah. Um, wow. Okay. So like, Haranen runs over, obviously, I, and you just hear him like shouting, like, ah. And then, like, saying, calm down, beaver. And then like, he, like, does his old horse whisper a bit, where he tries to, like, calm the horse down. And he kind of, like, turns and goes, what, what happened? I don't think he likes me. Or she likes me. I don't think it likes me. And then she'd cock her head to one side. I think maybe, like, um, maybe as he ran over the, the sort of, you know, the sort of, like, red... Little, like energy would be appearing for her to like summon her axe mm -hmm. and then as he ran over to it it kind of dissipates a bit yeah um, like instinct of like oh god I'm in danger yep, I'm, axe, I'm ready yeah. to whap out my axe and slash a mm -hmm. bitch um, so yeah th yeah that's so yeah, yeah I think she just said his name. and then he kind of turns around and goes I... Beaver was a a rescue unfortunately I He's quite old now. Ah. He gets spooked quite easily. And he kind of just make like me spooky. And he's like, I mean, only to old Beaver here. Um. Mm. He kind of looks down at like the kind of the, the sack that's probably fell on the ground, and he looks up at you and he's like, "Are you okay?" I think she'd like, you know, come straight out of her ready position and stand up normally and just be like, yep, pick up the bag and go to the next door. Yeah. Uh, next couple are empty, right? Um, okay. It's almost like they gave Beaver some space. I was just going to, I was literally just going to ask that. I was like, mm, does this look like it's, um, mm. Beaver needs the space yeah. from, from the other horses? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Maybe she'd say that. Um, like, maybe she went up to the door and she'd be like, Oh, I see he, or she. He. I say. He, I see did, he said he. Oh, did he? Okay. Yes. I see. He likes his space. Uh, as I said, um, we found that he gets worked up if he's near I, others. New goal is to befriend Beaver. Okay. Um. <laughs> Beaver is now how I get to Barris. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just stroke out the reasonable part of, um, of uh, You're an transport. old spooked rescue horse to take you to the city of technologically advanced elephant people that hate everybody? Sure. Yep. Um, and yeah, I think she'd like, maybe when she got to like the next one that has a horse and pours the feed into the, the trough, I think she'd go, I think I like it. You just saying that to yourself, really? Yeah. Probably loud enough to hear, but um, not specifically to anyone. Maybe the other horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the other horse is called Nugget, by the way. <laughs> oh, no, I take it back. I'm taking Nugget. Take a Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? The party's big enough to take both. Yeah, right. Uh, um, That's true. How many horses do we need? This is where you have to think about counting the party members. Yeah. <laughs> so, how yeah. many of them can ride horses? Ooh. I think, um, I think and of how them, many of them can share? I think all of them can ride horses, but I don't know if Lyra should ride a horse. Is possibly mm. a more accurate thing. Like I'm, that might be. Ride a carriage, 
Like, what is both you and Cognat's weight? Is what oh, I'm saying. Saying yeah. that you could ride two horses each, or just a cart and pulled by two horses and just hope for the I'm, best. I'm only four hundred and twenty-one pounds. That's a, that's, <laughs> a, that's a chunky boy, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, but that's heavier than a horse, isn't it? Probably. <laughs> But yeah, more so, than twice my human weight. So anyway, like you kind of say that to the the horse, then the the horse just kind of like whinnies at you, and then uh, like nudges at like your shoulder, um, where like there's some of the horse feed scattered over you, um, and then like Haranen like closes up Beaver's uh, you know door and heads over to like the site he was working on again. At least they do. Um, yeah, I think uh, she she watches to maybe close the the door over, and as he kind of leaves over, I think maybe she <laughs> maybe she walks back past Beaver's door again, maybe kind of listening in to see if he's making any noise, and then walks past and carries on feeding other horses and talking to them idly. Yeah, do you want to roll perception? Sure. There is no beaver. I did not there hear him no whatever. You hear him say, what a bitch. Oh, I'm going to kill this horse. <laughs> you obviously is, that, is that what I actually hear? No, like, of course when not. I hear, I'm going to kill this horse. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm going to make okay. this chat because it's going to just have a update notification on my audio constantly. So yeah. So yeah, you walk past Beaver, yeah, there's just like, you know, heavy horse breathing, right? Okay. Um, he will be mine. Um, Not if your animal hand looks the same one. <laughs> <laughs> Just no, she'll, she'll try and, goes. I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think she'll like. Maybe, maybe, um, like the like however many horses there are left after after like Nugget, she'll just like quickly pour. Like the seed in, mm-hmm. and then, um, if there's like a little bit left, she'll maybe try a little bit, and then. Uh, Do you take your mask off then? Yeah, lifts it up like up to like the top of her head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and take yeah, and um, he like Haranen that is finishes like putting in feet for all the the horses on his side. That one seems to be more full than this side. Obviously, this is maybe where they put the ones that need more space to themselves. Mm. And um, he gets closer and he says. It's not so good for uh, for people that, um, yeah. How does it taste? Does it taste pretty bad? I mean, I don't know. It tastes like whatever horse feed tastes like. I don't know what that is personally. Mm, me neither. Um, um <laughs> malty. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think it's the fact that it's coming from flea bite just makes it so much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think maybe maybe she just like had like a, a mouthful and was like, "Hmm, it is a bit dry," and then spits it onto onto the ground. Mm-hmm. And, um, and you know, like maybe, maybe wipes wipes her mouth. Um, and says, do, do you in wanna... a very similar fashion to Princess Mononoke in that one scene when she's spitting out blood. Yeah, so, so, mm, do, I love that maybe. Do you want to um, maybe maybe eat something a bit better? Yes. Um, she has an eyebrow raised. He's like, well, and he's scratching the back of his head awkwardly. He's like, I was kind of going to suggest maybe we could have taken two of the horses out for a ride, but maybe I'm thinking maybe just some some food and you know maybe. Talk a bit. We could take the horses and catch some food and talk a bit. 
and he kind of like looks a bit awkward and he's like, no, no, I, I think maybe we should let the horses just get some fresh air here. I, um... I think she looks not disappointed, but like, oh. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the the um, the word would be, but she looks disappointed without actually looking disappointed. Maybe just kind of like um, going, "Oh, that's not what I thought." Um, and then just, I think she would just nod. I mean, you can roll insight if you want to try and gauge anything from him if you want. Sure, I shall. That was a good insight roll. Yeah, maybe it's because you spooked the shit out of a horse. <laughs> Who's shitting on a horse? Yeah, and then she goes, I think she just kind of nods and goes, maybe smiles to herself a little bit. And says, okay. Mm -hmm. Lead ahead, horseman. Uh, it, it's Haranen. And he kind of like awkwardly smiles and then... Haranen, horseman. Are you deliberately getting that wrong to wind him up, or is it just? Bear calm? in mind, remember she's still pissed. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that you. I mean, you've made it through the woods, okay? Up. So you're you've clearly sobered up from this wonderful like pine air. It's the fresh air. Mm -hmm. Um, no, yeah, she just goes okay, Haranen, and then maybe as he turns away, she says, "Poor man." <laughs> and uh, he's yeah, he like he goes away into like one of the. You know, what could only really be considered like a hut or a shed. Um, it brings out the equivalent of what looks like a, a kind of wicker basket. And uh, he's like, um, okay. And he slings like a backpack over his back. And he's like, this way. And off he's walked together. So. They head off towards, you know, beautiful sun. Everybody else! <laughs> it's in the guard house. Where the action is. I have well, no idea what you're on about. Let's go back to the guard house. And we ended that scene with her leaning down to Alvin, I believe it was, and saying, mm -hmm. you read my son's book. And she just smiles with all of her teeth replaced with, like, gemstones. <laughs> that is fancy. Uh, is is our teeth actually made of gemstones? It seems to be. I'll be like, punch her, and we're rich. Yeah. They're all like different colors, stones. Yeah. Get the cannon. <laughs> um. <laughs> Force I'll... ballista her face. How horrible. Bet she didn't have had diamondy teeth. I'm like, how well do I need to be a? A good rogue to get away with taking teeth out of someone's mouth without them knowing. Yeah, he goes dentist. Yeah, he goes study dentistry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll stick with the original plan. Punch. Right. So yeah. Uh, um, Lee, but if you want to give me a perception roll, I can answer that. Yeah. Yeah. There are. There are indeed green stones. In the teeth as well. God. All different coloured. Fleabite jumps off of the horse and onto her face. I suddenly realised that my goal of de escalating is never going to work because Fleabite seen a green stone. Mm. Life of someone. To be fair, you did buy him a green stone, so if you just keep that momentum going. Uh, like piece um, of candy, piece of candy. I don't think, I, I, don't think I can use it <laughs> this time. <laughs> So yeah, uh, what does Alvin say back to her? I shall be looking up and be like... Oh, she's like, kneel down. Oh, all right, okay. Um, she's smiling but, at him. Hmm. Were you in the book as well? And she kind of like, looks up to like the left or the right. And she's like thinking and she's like, hmm, probably. And she kind of like nods at that. <laughs> They're like... Ha 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 I mean, you physically, were you in the book? Physically inside a book. And she lo like she looks at herself and she's like, I'm a little big, don't you think? I fit in just fine. 
Yeah, and she like does that thing where she stands up and she like puts a hand by her side and it goes all the way down to like your height on her. So like, <laughs> yeah, but you know, and does that thing with her fingers where she gestures between the two of you. I just feel like, well, if you are the queen, what was all that hocus pocus diggery pocus all about earlier when you kind of appeared and just walked through the gate? The guards didn't seem to even know you were here. She looks at you confused, she's like, Queen? And she like, touches the top of her head, like, Hmm, you must have me mistaken for somebody else. Queens wear crowns. She just like, smirks at you. And she looks over like the horse in the ranch, she goes, oh my god, you have a horse. No, but like, yes! I have, I have many. many. <laughs> I have many things. She, um, but... she walks closer to you. Um, so that does include walking closer to flea bite, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, and then she like she goes to like slowly put a hand out to you, Lauda, um, as if to like stroke the top of your nose. Mm -hmm. I guess I just sort of lean forward slightly and let her. Yeah, and then she kind like smiles, realizing you've kind of you know led into it, and she starts to like kind of just like stroke the top of your head, and then she says, "Can I ask though, why are you here?" She turns back to Alvin and says that. Um, I'll be like, why are we here? We're we're here for the king. She waves a hand at and, and she's like, no, you. Like me personally? She just smiles again. Yeah. And I just be like, hmm. What can I say? I like an I like a good adventure, and this seemed like a good one. She looks like sad instantaneously. Like, mm. okay, you just missed your chance to pull. She says, "I don't think you'll find much adventure here, unfortunately." Ah, that's where you're mistaken. I've already been in a book. That was an like that's an experience I've, I won't soon forget. And she like smiles all, again and starts I've like stroke the horse again, and she like says, "What sorry?" So she smiles when you say, I've already been in a book, you know, that's an adventure. And then she like starts to like stroke the horse again and she smiles and she says, you know, that is true. Kind of just agreeing with you. Uh, I'll just kind of continue and be like, and once we have our meeting with the king, we shall have more adventure. It's just going to be non-stop travel and party and it will be a massive, massive gain of information. Which, oh, it's just going to be fun. So uncertain about a lot of things. It'll oh. be great. But, sorry, I digress. Wait, are, are you not the king's mother? She looks at herself again and laughs. And she's like, do I look old enough to be anyone's mother? The light from the doorway catching some of the stones in her teeth. Or stones as her teeth, I should say. Well, from and what? I have learned Cynthia von Rune is Richter von Rune's mother. You're not you're Cynthia von Rune, are you not? She smiles. And she's like I see the book has taught you many things. Yes, I wish to get a book like that for my very own some And she leans down and she kisses you on the cheek. And pinches it really quickly and laughs at you. He goes, Plus, I did say you read my son's book. And she like <laughs> gestures, like, like just moments ago, in fact. And she kind of just laughs. And like yeah. comes back up from like leaning, leaning down. She goes, Well, sorry. And she says, uh, She looks at the group and she goes, So that's why he's here. Why are you here? She still just absolutely starts stroking the horse again. As, as she starts to like stroke the horse's head, can flea bite just like really slowly um, creep forward onto the, the top of the horse's head. Um, you know, uh, like Drax in um, oh, yeah. Infinity War. You don't even like, need to describe. Moving slowly, like, yeah. thinks he can't be seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's just doing that and moving closer and put, reaches his hand out towards um, the woman's mouth. Does Cognac notice this? Can you roll stealth with disadvantage because it's dumb? But yeah. 
Um, I'll give you a chance and then we'll see what everybody else sees. <laughs> it's pretty damn good. It's not pretty bad. damn good. Um, I, I don't expect that's good enough, but I'm, I'm just happy that it was actually good rolls. It's, it's, it's 16's a damn good stealth check, buddy. Um, so, what's her passive wisdom? If, uh, well, it's not about uh, her passive uh, at all. This is more about the, the rest of the party. So, let me try and visualise how how we're looking, right? So, I'm going to delete the table. No. Oh, no right. I'm going to try and delete the table. There we go. So, if I doodle like a really really simplistic view of like this guard house. So if that's the door where people have come in. She's like standing uh, horse there, butt sticking out. And like there's a horse here. And Alvin's here. The people that I haven't mentioned, right? So we know where like Fleabite and Alvin and I Lauda are. Right? If that's Fleabite. The triangle being Lauda. Can everybody else tell me where they were? See, I wasn't sure if me and Cognac had actually caught up. Everybody had Probably. caught up. Um, right, we had caught up. Because right. Alvin was with you guys. Where are the... How many guards are in this entranceway? Because I remember Fleabite and... There's Lyota about six. Were having... Six that you can immediately see. Oh, right. And they're all okay. guarding. Like, and... So let's say these are big, huge castle doors. And there's like four guards in front of there. And then like... If there's like a wall here that goes like this, and a wall here that goes like that, then there's the desk, and uh, there's like a guard there, and there, as well, and this is like Which one? this is the couch area where he sat. Right. Yeah. Are they responding to the Queen Mummy in any way? No. And rightly so, there is probably one closer, right? So it's probably a... Uh, oh, let's just delete those bits and move one of the guards Are they still, closer. like, trying to kick me out? Mm -hmm. uh, well, they all stopped moving. Um, so there's oh. probably one, like, there that stopped moving. Um, that was the one that was trying to kick you out. And by that, so it was they're mostly talking to Alvin. Anyway. Oh, yeah, none of them are doing anything. Like, it's mid, that one's like mid whatever pose it was in when it was trying to tell Alvin to get his horse out of here. What's wrong with my horse? But yeah, so where's, where's Adair and where is a Cognac? Um, well, just draw an X. I take it everyone comes in. If you I would have liked, whilst the dialogue between Alvin and the Queen were going on, I'd have liked to have moved in quite far to just well, scout the area a wee bit, so about there-ish, just to see what's yeah, happened. Sure, you could have moved in, yeah. Uh, mm. Cognac? Didn't show up very well. No, it's okay, I got you. I'll just... It is a bad colour for this, but it's fine. There we go. I got a really badass shadow X now. Um, nice. Yeah, I'd say Cognac, so, Johnny, roll perception for me. Um, everything else, you're on passive, so if anybody's got a passive of a 16, good luck. But I think Cognac's the only one able to probably see this. I don't notice him doing this on top of my head. Oh, you, I didn't ask you to roll. You're uh, a horse. From my passive perception. No, but I didn't ask you to roll. I know. <laughs> well, Cognac, no, you're obviously <laughs> looking at something else. Um, Cynthia's uh, teeth are just so beautiful. Also, like, Jeez. yes, and that Lauda, uh, for you, like, the reason you're not rolling is obvious, he's crawling up your fucking neck. <laughs> oh, right, so I just notice anyway. Okay. Um, I'm too far, I'm too busy looking at, are the guards? You're looking everywhere think, else, like... yeah, so, like, you tell me what you're mm -hmm. after in that conversation. Um, where's well, path of perception again, right? Under your skills. Your... Uh, anyway. Adair. All right, okay, mine, mine's just 12. Adair. Yes, um, so I'd be looking to see how the guards are reacting to my movement so close to them. Oh, without they are. identifying myself. Hmm? They aren't. They haven't moved. They aren't responsive in any way. Nope. I think the guards are frozen. Mm -hmm. I'm contemplating that. It's just how do I test that theory? <laughs> Chuck so a they're... rock out their face. So uh, let's just go back to Cognac's goal. Yep, 100% agree with your assessment now. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am not that daft. I ain't doing nothing. I mean, I was contemplating maybe a wee swift kick to one of them, but um... <laughs> Dom Domino them. <laughs> oh my God! Can we? Oh, Tempted. So, so uh, um, Ryan, did you say this was a desk of some sort? Yeah, like a reception area, as if you know people would come in here and file their requests with you know the government, right? Okay. Um, ah, like anything... a reception. Is there anything on the desk that I can see? Any parchments uh, in regards to a sign-in book or anything like that? Or... Weirdly, no. Like, there is... Mm. It's like a big piece of marble. Because, um, like, most of the buildings in this place are relatively fancy. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, no. Besides it being, like, marble, it's as if... Do you know, like in a show home, where you know there should be more things in an actual home? Mm-hmm. It's, it's got that vibe. Man. It's got that vibe to it. Maybe it's just because nobody actually like A works there or B comes in to complain about the government. Lies. Um, <laughs> can I move my blue X? Uh, you can. You could just tell me where you moved. That was just to try and work out everybody who would be looking where when it came to flea bites roll. Fair enough. Um, well, I'm looking around. I'm keeping a wee eye out, but I would like to maybe pause. Yeah, move a little closer to the front of these doors when the guards are there. Like, I would chance it to see if I could get that close. That's fine, yeah. Um, what is everybody else doing, uh, given the, the back and forth between, you know, what, pseudo-Cynthia? Is that what we're going to call her? Yeah, um, yeah there's, there's still more I want to talk to her about. But... So yeah, like, while, while he's, like, like, snipping around the background, while we get flea bites slowly creeping over Lauda's face um, towards her mouth... Because there's going to be a time where he's going to have to end up like touching her hand, probably, to get close enough to lean in to get anywhere near her mouth. But yeah, I'm just imagining a baby child like really just stretching to the knife and not realizing that's what he has to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, I imagine I'm just kind of bewildered that the robots have stopped and overly taken in by this woman uh, really paying attention to what she's saying um, and not noticing anything else around me other than that mm -hmm. it's real and she does I mean she does yeah. seem pleasant enough right yes yeah. away with words mm. or is maybe that just what she wants us to believe I mean that's why everybody's pleasant right because they want you to believe they're pleasant See the guards. Do any of them have monocles? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I like your thinking. Um, but no. It was worth a try. Yes. Agreed. So, uh, Alvin? Or, you know, the gang? Yep. Um, if no one else is wanting to go, I shall be like. Yeah, she's just like well, smiling pleasantly. questions, no? She's smiling pleasantly and just like, you know, scritching. At the, has, the has she reacted to the claw getting slowly <laughs> closer to her? Not yet, though. No. They ask her, um. You say you're his, his mother, and the guards, they. They seem to have stopped. You have some sort of control over them. And she looks over at you and she says, You don't have to be quite so coy over there for a turtle. And she just laughs. I retreat slightly in my shell. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the cape flaps slightly less. <laughs> Wait, Turns a dark head? shade of blue. <laughs> If his head goes all the way into the shell, does the cape fall off? Because his neck's not there holding it on anymore. Nah, I it's, it's only a slight retreat. Like, uh, hmm. I imagine it's like you know, hooked over the uh, the shell anyway, as opposed to the oh. the neck. Because that would just be dumb. <laughs> I know, but that's why it'd be funny. His uh, head retracts all the way down, and cape just falls Perhaps off. the first time I wore it, that did happen, and then I decided to change it. <laughs> There was the, the montage of it bellowing down the street when him chasing it for ages that we cut out. That's in the, the deleted scenes. <laughs> oh, I remember that now. Never mind. Yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was a, that was a good scene, by yep, the way. Yep. Highest level Patreon for everybody listening. 
also doing it's I think a lie. that Laida is just a happy tipsy horse getting stroked yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> hey those are all true things right um, yeah so she kind of smiles and she's like there's no need to be shy as she says that over to a Cognac. I, uh, shy, smile at her, and then, um, come forth a little bit more from my shell. And I introduce myself, and my cloak billows, and I am Cognac! Uh, I'm sorry for being shy, I'm not that great with words. I love that you start uh, shouting this at the group. This yes! <laughs> Uh, I'm right next to you, but I need to speak really loudly. <laughs> what well, you're doing um, it for my benefit. I'm far away from you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's pretty his benefit as well. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? I heard if uh, you are who you say you are, and you have such power, could you get us into the castle? She looks back at like the doors. And obviously, we just see the back of a. I dare, as he's like slowly edging towards the guards and she looks back and she's like my cloak does that too and she grabs like the corner of her cloak with her free hand and just starts like waving it so it like catches air pockets um, and it billows out and she just smiles at you Ah! I love her of fashion I see I mean I try and she kind of like, you know I can tell tilts her head Uh, Fleabite, do you make any progress? Are you going to be brave enough to try something, or are you just slowly reaching out, like ET? I mean, if I if I can get to her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're going to need to do something that isn't just stretching out, right? Um, I I presume she would see me and just try and, and react. I don't know. I don't know yet. I need to know what you're going to do. Um, well, I would continue slowly moving until I was. My, I, no, my I, was saying, hand was I was gonna say you've reached the peak of what you can reach out to. Um, and how close is that? It would be close enough to grab her forearm, and that's it. If she could reach the horse's head, which I'm standing. Yeah. She has. Like, God, here we go. <laughs> All right. Then I would like to try and balance on her arm to get. To go. Sorry, guys. Horse, and then you always jump off the horse's head. Fleabag, I have a long <laughs> reach out, and then as she's scratching there, you see, you see the problem. <laughs> Where, like, at some point, you're going to be like standing on Lyoda's eye. I mean, horses have quite a long face. Yeah. And you're still like a three foot size rat. So I should have decent length arms. No. You have rat <laughs> arms. I just kick my back and I might, might move forward a bit. Or leap at her is what you're probably going to have to do if you want. I visualize. I'm visualizing okay. Fleabag like a cat where he's wiggling his bum getting ready to pounce. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, I'm sorry, are you saying I can't try and stand on her arm? I know you could. I didn't, I didn't hear you actually say that. Yeah, so I would like to try and um, balance on her arm to get close. Yeah, so uh, you lean Two forward seconds, okay. and you your hand goes to touch her like forearm. Is that what you were saying? You want to like, use her as like you know the rope up to the ship to get closer to her mouth? I mean, I'd probably go like I, my hand would still be going to, straight towards the mouth, and it would be like my Back holes that try and like get onto her. Okay. Uh, like standing on her arm rather than like holding it. Give me acrobatics then, right? Still with disadvantage, I presume. No, no, just at normal acrobatics. This is just for balance on the horse's head, right? Um, so yeah, you maintain your balance. Uh, how does Laoda feel? Because that probably isn't comfortable. Um, I think I think I'm tipsy enough to just sort of go along with it. Yeah, just let it happen to you. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. used to flea bites antics. And um, 
Yeah. So now you've kept your balance. You're gonna try and like use her as a balance. Um Yeah, you put your hand on her forearm. Put my like hind leg as it's it's more like I'm stepping on. Yeah. So you've walked down Lyra's face. And I've got my 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 your, foot to your front purpose. foot as it were on her forearm, yep. Mm hmm How does she react to that? She hasn't. She's still smiling and laughing at you while billowing her cloak. Is my um hand like how close is my hand to her, her mouth? Yeah, I'd say you could reasonably have a go at trying to get your hand in her mouth. <laughs> Oh god. I like to feel like Lyra's eyes are almost like if a horse could go cross eyed. <laughs> sort of looking up at this. Yeah, try to see what the hell is going on. <laughs> yeah. Flea bite. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't expect I'd get this far. <laughs> Hello. You didn't expect this. <laughs> Fantastic. Whips out his pliers. <laughs> well, all, all eyes um, are on you. So, in what um, is everybody? Sorry, like, so let's pause for a second. What is everybody else doing in this situation, right? So obviously, Cognac seems to do this, but now everybody can see flea bite, tight rope walk, her arm. Yeah, everybody that, you know, is looking. I mean, because obviously Thea can't either. But, like, there's a three-foot rat tight rope, walking, tight rope walking this woman's arm, trying to reach her mouth. I mean, I wish I could see this. <laughs> I mean... You could just turn around and be like, guys, I think, I'll, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm personally happy to do that then. Yeah. Yeah, personally, personally, for myself, I think I'd be like, hmm. Let's see where this goes. I'll probably be very curious until realizing what is going to happen. I concur. I would turn around to witness what is occurring, mm -hmm. but with no words and with the distance <laughs> what to travel. What could you have had anyway, right, in this situation? I, yeah. It's like a, hmm, what's he doing? And then, oh god. Mm -hmm. It's a realization the face would drop. Okay, uh -huh. so, um, and this is a, a thematic thing, um, could I'm I... No, I'm asking you what your, what your next step to do is. Yes, so my next step would be, um, obviously I could use my hand, but could I, could we, for the thematics, could I say that I use my tail, um, to take, um, No, because it's not a prehensile tail. Okay, well, I could just use my hand, that's, that's why I was like... Yeah, but yeah. your hand needs to be used because you're not like Lyudu who has a trunk that can actively be used as per his race. You can use your tail to wrap around her arm. Well, no, I just use... Fine. I use my hand um, to take out a hammer on my pack. Do you have a hammer in your pack? I do have a hammer in my pack. Oh my god. Right, okay. Uh, uh, do I see that? Um... Actually, sorry, no, first, first I take out the crowbar and I put that into the hand that's reached out and then I take the hammer out to put it in my other hand. Right, so let's I, let's break this up a bit more, right? So the first thing you do is pull out a crowbar. Everybody else? Yes. I would like to intervene. <laughs> Can I um, attempt to move to, to Freebyte before he... Like, after I see the crowbar, but not before he gets the hammer out, and sort of realize roughly what he's thinking, and then try and wrap him up in my cloaks. Don't be strange, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, how does that work? We just see you take your cloak off, staring at her, like, slowly walking forward, like, don't look behind you. And then... I imagine she's going, look, my cloak bells too, and just thinking about cloaks and vaguely noticing 
Flea Bite moving forward and going, I wonder what he's doing. And then Cloak's being fresh in my mind, actually realizing what he's doing. I go, oh, Cloak's! And then I grab <laughs> both my Cloak's and lift them up high. And then I try and like, try as though making a crocodile's jaws with my Cloak's, try and <laughs> clamp them both down on Flea Bite and wrap him up in them. <gasps> I think this is a grapple, an opposed grapple now, right? Because <laughs> I'm assuming, fully, but you're not going to go into this. I assume you're going to try and resist. Um, it, sort of in in your thoughts, would um, I have time to try and actually do it um, instead of resist? Uh, you only have the crowbar in your hand at this moment in time. I'm going to get crowbarred. So this maybe happens as you're like reaching for the hammer. <laughs> yeah. So I think the the option is if you're gonna just like go for her, he's probably gonna get you unopposed, right? Or would I still get the opportunity of? No, because he'll get you unopposed, which means he'll just get you in the cloaks. You'd have to roll to like dodge the grapple. Yeah, and that would be your not wanting to be in cloaks, like him comedically trying to like put blankets over a dog and the dog jumping back and jumping over the person comedically, etc. Dot dot dot. Only in this case, it's it's a turtle and a skaven <laughs> um, balancing between I... a woman who you think might be the queen who died, <laughs> and Lyuda, the elephant horse. What can we well, say? It's, it's a complicated relationship. It's just that I, I feel Flea Bite wouldn't try and stop um, Cognac, but when he knows he's trying to be stopped, he would try and rush to finish what he was doing. Okay. So instead of taking his hammer out, he would just reach with the crowbar to try and, like, just be the. To do what with a crowbar, right? Let's, let's be descriptive here, Alexander. Go for it. Whack. Um, so obviously, before he was going to try and use that as a chisel to jimmy it out, but. I mean, he knows that the hammer is no longer an option. Just like try and uh, chippy it out. So you want to smack her in the mouth with a crowbar? Is what you're actually saying? Like I can always change shape into her elephant form, and I'm sure, like the changing of the shape would upset the balance of his position enough that may or may not aid him or cause him to lose his balance. Yeah, well, he's kind of mostly balancing on her arm, so it depends what her arm does after the horse's head, like, vanished, I guess. I right? think if a horse could laugh, then that's what I'll let you be doing. <laughs> so, uh, flea bite. What's happening? Well, as I say, he wouldn't try and stop um, Cogmec, so if Cog if that would mean that um, Cogmec would... Um, intercept him before he manages to try anything, anything then I guess that's... I think it's probably more fair to use the, the stuff in the game, right? So I use both roll initiative and we'll actually see who oh, gets wow. this first, because I think that's fairer. Pokemon battle music plays in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to... Uh, you 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 might need to um, I don't think you can... Can the character, you, I think. you don't need to drag your tokens on, it should just go into the chat. So there's a fifth. Oh. Right, so you can just click it. Ooh. <laughs> right, I think that was the fairest way to allow that to play out. Um, <laughs> the one time the turtle's really fast. See, it's the cloaks, man. You're OP with these cloaks now. Um, <laughs> and you thought they were going to be useless. Look at this. Saving international incidents. Um, uh, yeah, so I think you get flea bite in a sack made of double cloak. I have to tie it in multiple places. Oh, sorry. Flea bite doesn't resist. <laughs> Just su submits within darkness, I guess. <laughs> oh dear. And he knows it was cock right. <laughs> green tooth. I get you another green thing. It's not... What's your obsession with green? Shiny. Yes, yes. Just your warp star. Yes, yes. 
I mean, it may explain how she got here, but no. Does Cognac know anything about warp stones? I don't, but I <laughs> imagine he may have mentioned warp stones before. I'm like, what is that? Which and then something about them? something about something teleport something something warp something something. Yes, yes. Dark side. Yeah. So, <laughs> Flea, you Calm. would you, you would think that you've rambled enough about that for Cognac to be able to make that that statement, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, that's, that's fine. Perfect. Cool. Uh, yeah. So, you know, pseudo Cynthia stands there and just slowly picks the flea bite hairs off of her arm. Um, kind of like as if nothing really weird happened at all. <laughs> Can I, uh, quick, like, when you're trying to transfer like one thing from one sack to another, you kind of like put one of the sacks inside of the other, and then open it up, and it all falls in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if there's enough space in my backpack to there, fit. There is. Oh, <laughs> there is. I'm really worried that that he'll destroy my cloaks. <laughs> well, he said he wasn't struggling, so. For now. Yeah. How long are you planning on keeping him in there? <laughs> as long as I think that he's gonna batter this woman's teeth in and we may be responsible With to the king. Bar. Can you imagine yeah. if Richter had walked in at that point and was like... In fairness, I wanted to hammer to like an crowbar to the out. It would have been very humane. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I mean, love that's that's human. Very humane. I love as, that. As, as I say go for it, see what happens. Has she stopped petting me? Uh, yeah, to pick off the... Um, can I go about... like more than Nudger with my uh, head? Yeah, and she kind of like puts uh, two hands like either side of your kind of like face, just kind of shy of your ears, and she kind of laughs and she goes, "Don't worry, I haven't forgot about you." Um, oh. And then, as well, Jake runs out. She leans in uh, <laughs> to her cloak behind her back, and she pulls out like a red apple, and she holds it up to you. Can I do like a, a, like a happy little dance on my feet? And then, like, try and roll apple. performance. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, actually, you should roll animal roll. handling. Uh, there you go. Yeah, you can do a happy yeah. dance. You're not that drunk. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're happy trotting. Do you uh, take the apple? I'd like, yeah, I'd like to take the apple. Yeah. Take it, eat it. It's um, delicious. Oh, yeah. It's an apple. Yeah. You know. Nice crunchy apple as well. Just yeah, crunchy. Apple. Yeah. I'm uh, half expecting you to say sixty temporary hit points have been given. To... <laughs> yeah, to flea bite randomly. Nobody knows why. Um, <laughs> he hulks out and uh, tries again. <laughs> but yeah, so that all happens, and uh, she looks at the group. You know, Cognac leaning over two cloaks, trying to like hold. Flea bite in, uh, even though Flea isn't struggling, but Cognac's probably acting like he is. And uh, <laughs> Alvin and Adair are just kind of staring on, and Lyuda munching away on an apple. And she kind of looks at the group and he goes, Well, this has been a very eventful day. Um, enjoy your dinner. And then she just walks out. Which way? Just out the doors. Mm. I just feel like. But I still have questions. She kind of like just shouts. Invite kind of her like, to dinner. Invite her to dinner. She shouts over her shoulder, kind of like pleasantly, and she like, "Ask me later." How will I find you? Yeah, she's already gone by that point. She's already walked away out of your shop. Unless you're gonna He's chase her down. Is that a ghost? And um, we transition from Sorry, here maybe. all the way. Back to the forest. Because stuff's happening in the forest. So, dun, dun, dun. Thea and Haranen, he's walk for a bit. Um, you get to some running water, and he... He says, close, close your eyes, please. It, it, it's a surprise. And he kind of like smiles all bashfully. I'm going to wait for Calum to unmute and reply.
He's not ah, there. But... There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I was a bit distracted. Do you want to repeat the question? No, I want you just to answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I think I think it says. Hmm. What were you up to? When not paying attention, Callum. <laughs> Um, I was actually uh, trying to move the, the bottles away from the side of my desk, if you must. Shocking. It was happening, it was happening I got you, but cleaved. That's your pre-game oh, actually... bullshit. Anyway. I, I know. Haranin has taken you through the woods. You start to hear the running water louder, and he says, close your eyes. It will be a surprise that way. And he kind of smiles bashfully. Oh, God. She pulls out her axe. <laughs> her axe cleavage. <laughs> Um, I think she pulls her mask back down and closes her eyes. It kind of like looks at you a wee bit confused. He's like, okay, no cheating. And then he pulls your hood up. So it's like tucked in. So it is like hiding your eye line. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can still see down the way, obviously. Um, so I can see where my feet are going. Yeah, and uh, yeah, okay, that's it, it like leans out and like feels for your hand and takes your hand to guide you. That's fine. Yeah, and you head through, and uh, you end up. It's like you can open them now, and he sounds dead excited. And in one like big motion, she lifts the mask to the top of her head and opens her eyes. And is blinded by the oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, what? What are you blinded by? Maybe if you look at the, the Whoa. <laughs> oh right, okay, right. Just sorry, I thought it was like I think Oh man. If Mr. Bola Ebelon was here. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> So um, he's like, kind of like standing there, like dead chuffed with himself, kind of does that awkward hand behind the head thing, kind of scratching his neck, and he's like, uh, what, what do you think? I think you. Um, for the, the, like, the first time, probably <laughs> in a very long time, like, Dia's expression is, she's like, there's no, like... I don't have a mask for this. There's, there's, no, there is no mask for this. There's like, but she'd heard like mouth is just like wide open. Her eyes are wide, and she's just staring. Um, I think maybe a bit of air escapes, but mm. like as if she was going to say something, but nothing comes out. Like a fart, and um... like a <laughs> fart, exactly a mouth fart, and the, but um... not a burp. So there's a mini montage of you like setting down. There's a bit of a like you know a rough spun like blanket that he throws out. Um, you sit by the water, probably like somewhere like maybe here, right? Um, yeah, yeah. And that's where I was looking for enough. Yeah, and uh, like it just—it's not great food, right? It is literally just whatever would have been okay to still eat after being stored there. So yeah, it's yeah. some mix of like you know maybe freshly made travel rations so they taste a bit better than normal, mm. or like you know whatever supplies would be in there if people had to like stay with the horses for time. Um, Etc. Depending on like maybe in winter they need to stay up there with the horses, you know. So he's got some things. I uh, and yeah, like is there a subject to the conversation that comes up at all, or because he's kind of just like taking in like the rushing water, the the feel of the sun rays, you know. Yeah, I think I think he is very just kind of in the moment. Maybe maybe she actually like you know dips her hand in the water at, at points and kind of mm -hmm. splashes her face kind of like just take it all in mm -hmm. it's kind of like her it's like the her complete opposite like mm -hmm. th th i don't think she's ever felt this at ease or mm -hmm. at like well i guess tranquil ever yeah. um so it's it's like everything's brand new and she's she's very just kind of content and intent on just relaxing and taking just everything in. And uh, anything that comes up in conversation as time kind of goes on or do you both kind of just kind of sit quietly eating? 
I think quietly eating, unless like he like brought up anything specific that he wanted to talk He's about. Far too shy for that. Okay, I think yeah. maybe she would have like at some point prodded for conversation, like, which is again something Thea would not do generally. Um, but I think maybe maybe she would ask something like. Um, trying to think. The only thing she knows about him is he likes horses. <laughs> so, have you always had horses, or? Oh, um, they're not mine. I I just help out with them. I um, you know, it's it's extra money, so I I just help out with them. Some of the folks that aren't so fit anymore, they can't do the. You know, the care level they need. Mm. As you've seen, we've got some, some pretty uh, skittish horses still, like this old beaver. Uh, ah yes. And he's taken a shine Thank to me, so uh, you know, like to keep me around. And he's kind of just like talking for the sake of talking, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like when you know you've lost the point of whatever you were trying to say, but you're already mid sentence, so you feel like you need to continue the sentence, you know? Yeah. Um And I think think of that, um maybe she would like kind of scooch like over to the to like the edge of where the water meets the land. Mm -hmm. And then like lie down on her back and kind of let her hair into the water. And just let the water flow over like the back of her head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um and like close her eyes, and then she'll. Um, I think she'll say to Haranin to do the same at some point, maybe after like a minute or so, and says, as you, Haranin, try it." I think like as soon as you finish that, he's already like sc like scuffled over really fast, you know. Like sure, yeah, okay, don't have to tell me twice. Type vibe to his movements, uh -huh. and uh, he lies like next to you, and, like he does the same. And obviously, he's got kind of like you know kind of shaggy blonde hair. I am. Um, mm -hmm. He kind of leans back. Does the same. Obviously, his doesn't quite reach. You know, maybe it's get like the tips of it are getting wet or whatever. But like his uh, his hair is not as long as maybe like obviously Thea's happens to be. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe what she'll do is she'll like take off her shoes and like stand in the thing and kind of like, stand in the 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 stream rivery thing and um, kind of support his shoulders and pull him like out mm -hmm. so his head can get like right back yeah. in the water. Yep. So he's kind of just looking at you upside down now, um, as you've kind of dragged him back a bit into the water. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, like anything else that comes up in conversation between the two of you? No, I think she'd grin. Um, maybe she would... No, I was going to say maybe she'd explain why, but then, no. I think he just kind of grins back. And then you hear horses in the distance. Like hooves, Boo! for example. Oh lord. And, That's uh, not hard. This is either really good or really bad. And you hear the, the clop, 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 you know, of a, a rider getting closer and closer. Here comes a beaver. And then uh, you just hear the voice reach out to both of you. I see you're enjoying the countryside that Valeria has to offer. And you look up and she'll drive from the sun on horseback there is a King Richter von Rune with a you know a couple of dead deer over the back of his horse hmm. How big I think she'd um, it's mighty maybe push Haran and like not push him but like help him like up so he can sit up and yeah. stand up and look at the uh, look at him um... he's already like like shot up as soon as she like he hears the voice and he kind of like goes okay, yeah, down yeah. on one knee etc um, um, automatically I think she just it's okay don't worry because we're taking oh, yeah. our break there oh okay you don't have to panic she stands so up much. there you go <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what I was going to say she stands up still standing in the, the stream she's not like and uh, we'll come back at 20 past 9 uh, say goodbye everybody goodbye Bye, everybody, everybody. Bye.